Yo, what the hell's up? Welcome back to Reviews with Jake, where I just got done watching The First Omen. A late one on my list here, but much to my benefit as the movie just popped up for free on Hulu. Love when that happens. That being said, I totally wouldn't have minded paying for a ticket on this one had I seen it in the theater because this was actually a pretty solid horror movie, and that's coming from not the biggest fan of the Omen franchise. This movie had very good tension building from a very good, enjoyable score that helped the film flow from one scare to the next, as well as some good production design and meticulous lighting. It all helped set the spooky stage. The movie also had some very good performances, especially that of our lead actress, Nell Tiger Free, if I'm getting that correct. Either way, she knocked it out of the park. This movie put the bulk of the weight on her shoulders, and she turned in a very physically demanding performance, and she crushed it. As did the VFX team with all the grotesque and disturbing imagery that this film has. I mean, it is so quick to get under your skin. There are a few jump scares here and there. They're fine. You'll have that. But the movie is its brightest or its darkest when you have just these moments of just pure existential dread. I mean, this movie is just so haunting to the point that I watched it right before bed. Actually a mistake because I actually had some really f***ed up culty nightmares, which was just a delight. I am not really one to get nightmares from horror movies very often after years of abusing my subconscious by watching movies like this, but I gotta admit that this one snuck its way in there, and I gotta give it respect for that. All in all, while this film is a bit predictable, as most prequels are by design, it is a solid horror movie, which did surprise me. Obviously, it's not for everyone, as you'd imagine with a film like this, but if you are a fan of the horror genre and you have not watched this movie yet, I definitely think it's worth a watch. But that is just me. What do you think? Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with new reviews coming real soon. Stay safe. Thanks for checking in.